Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Rubik's Craft SMP. Before your eyes, you could see a bunch of cactus breaking. At least they were for a second there. I don't know how much of that you saw. Uh, because we have a cactus farm here, and it's stacked up a little bit more than when I showed you guys last time. So there are now one, two, three, four stacks up. And I think I'm going to leave it at four stacks, just because it's getting pretty tall. And it's already uh, creating a lot of cactus. And I, I don't need a, a super intense farm. But boy, is it cool looking down from above seeing all these layers of, of cacti um, using our usual design whoop, of just the glass in the middle to break the the cactus when they fall off of course it's not lossless uh, but look at that it's getting us a decent amount of cactus I have a ladder right here which does not seem to affect um, the way they drop which is good I might just keep it in here because it's really helpful because I have fallen down this thing so many times I've also broken a lot of armor <laughs> but uh, thankfully, I've not gone. I've not done a full enchantment in a long time, so I'm not really wasting much. Um, but yeah, there's still the exterior, which is getting uh, moving along for sure. But uh, it's still not completely finished. We'll definitely finish that in a bit. But first, I want to show you guys some of the redstone work I've done down here. Um, so this is where everything gets collected and composted. You might think, why does it need to be this complicated? Well, it probably doesn't, but. I'm not the best redstone person and what I've got here is something that works and that's the best that I can hope for. Um, let me break this down real quick. So this is where the cactus are being collected into this hopper, right? And then it has a choice basically. It can either drop down immediately into this hopper, in fact that's what it wants to do, but because there's redstone here it just immediately goes into the composter. However, whenever there are two cactus falling in, um, that, uh, that basically triggers this long enough to or it, hmm, I'm already getting lost. Basically, <laughs> when one cactus comes through, this redstone actually moves a little bit, which means if there's another one immediately following it, instead of going down to the composter, it will get down into this chest, right? So this is where you build up excess uh, cactus. And basically, I wanted to have a supply of cactus through this farm also, not just bone meal that would be used for this farm. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do this, but this would also help uh, some overflow if for whatever reason my bone meal gets all the way backed up. That probably won't happen this season. It's not that efficient. Um, but that's the idea is they get sent here. Very simple redstone up there. You can pause and look at it if you want. But of course, um, we've got other redstone to show here. Once it's in the composter, uh, composter, it then goes into this dropper. This is a very simple uh, dropper ladder that I think I've also used a very similar, if not the exact same system for my storage. Uh, but the dropper, once it's inside here, it activates this and you know basically sends it up the line. This dropper sends it into this dropper and then this dropper sends it into a line of hoppers here. I needed it at this level because this line of hoppers basically gets into this chest. Now, what's cool about this chest is it has a couple of handy-dandy items in here, three shovels and 53 dirt. This is a very ancient, classic uh, splitter design, uh, but basically when there is uh, two items more than the 53 dirt, like right now we got one, uh, when there's two more items, it'll power up this redstone line, which unpowers this, which allows both this hopper and this hopper to be used. Currently, they are both locked. What's helpful about this is as soon as there are two bone meal in here, uh, the way Minecraft mechanics just work, it will evenly split both of them into this line of hoppers and that line of hoppers. So that's a way to evenly split our bone meal into both of our um, farm systems. As you can see, I've only got four. <laughs> I haven't AFK'd here. I haven't spent a lot of time here. Um, I'm sure as the season goes on, this will fill up a lot more. Um, uh, I don't really do AFK sessions uh, very frequently, but if I absolutely need to, maybe I will just to build up that bone meal supply because we are going to need a decent amount of stems from this. That's what this is all about. Huge project just purely for the sake of getting stems. Now, you may wonder, we'll turn this on real quick so you can see it in action. Yeah, it already ran out. Uh, you may wonder, Pat, why build a whole cactus farm when you could just use um, some of these shrubbery for it, basically? And there's, there's a very perfectly understandable explanation for that um that's that's because i completely forgot that you could use these as compost 100 percent forgot but you absolutely can um maybe that's something i do in the future add a collection system to this right i don't think it would be super difficult there's always going to be a barrier open uh whenever the machine's done which means there is opportunities to dispense water and shoot it down in the barrier and funnel it into some other composting system and just get the bone meal going but then i would have to create a uh, fil filter system to make sure i don't get any of the warped fungus or crimson fungus just the crimson roots and uh whatever the heck else goes in here warped roots and then i think there's one other right oh no it's just the crimson roots and warped roots uh so i could do it in the future but also that's a lot of work so i might just not do it <laughs> i don't know um 
but it is something to think about for sure. I just kind of liked the idea of, of this cactus farm that's that's constantly feeding into it, which is why I did it. Now, of course, we are going to finish this this episode, but to do that, I first need to sleep. But then, of course, I need to get more materials. I keep constantly running out of this mud stuff because I'm using it very frequently. I found something out recently that I didn't know about. You guys probably knew about this, and you're probably like, I wonder why Pat doesn't utilize this. If you actually have a dirt and then place it with a bottle of water like that, it turns into mud, which means we don't actually have to craft it using our wheat. Now, we have a bunch of excess wheat, so it's not like a big deal or anything. Um, but I thought it was interesting. I kind of wanted to try this very simple contraption here, right? We have a waterlogged slab, and then I've got a dirt in my hand. And if I do this correctly, right, shovel selected, bucket it up, place, break. Nope, did it wrong. Uh, okay, place, shovel, pick up, place, shovel, pick up, place, shovel, pick up. It's not the most efficient. <laughs> Um, here's the deal. I really wanted to find a good way to automate this, and I actually spent a lot of time in my redstone world trying to figure out a mechanism for this. And I, I think I'm close to getting it done, but also I'm like, I don't know if it's worth setting up a whole machine for it because it gets pretty complicated. Because basically, you're going to need a dispenser that's automatically dispensing water into the dirt. Oh, boy. Never mind. It's purely daylight. I just slept. I can't sleep through this uh, rain. But I, I'm thinking like... Uh, you need, but you basically, here's, here's the killer. Here's the killer of the project. You can't do anything with a buck, uh, with dirt and water at the same time. Like you can't bucket up water while you have dirt in your hand. You have to have the shovel, which means one of the other things needs to be automated. Now I could build a system where I load up dirt with pistons and I looked into that. It's possible. Basically I'm mulling over the ideas, whether or not that'd be worth it. I think it'd be kind of cool, but also maybe not entirely necessary. I don't know. Uh, in the meantime, I might just end up using the uh, the wheat strat over here because I got a lot of this stuff and just bales and bales of, of wheat. So that could be the plan for now. But I thought that was interesting. Maybe we'll explore that in the future. For now, let's finally finish up this build. Okay, I might have a bit of a rhythm going. Okay, I, I swear I, I had it <laughs> I had it a second ago. I don't I don't I don't know what happened to it but it went away but look i've got uh i've got some mud now um i i was messing up earlier when i was mentioning the wheat stuff because you need the wheat with the mud not the wheat with the dirt to make the mud so either way i need a lot of mud but i think i've got enough to finish this i also still have some more of my storage system uh so we should be able to knock this out at least until the roof okay so the roof we're gonna do in a second but also I wanted to uh, to add an extra layer because you can see we still got some room here and it feels weird to leave that empty. So I think I think it'd be best if we do another layer just like so. I've got the materials anyway. And uh, oh, I'm rusty at creating this. I think I did lines. Yeah, lines. Remember those? We learned lines as kids. All right, we got our glass set up here. Um, here's what I'm thinking for the roof, right? Uh, a simple simple cone shape and it will start with where this divot would normally be uh, but we're going to add a little bit of variation by having mud bricks that go up one elevation above on the side i'm actually not sure what block to use there baby shoot i'm like so out of mud <laughs> i keep using so much mud why did i decide that i should use mud the entire season i don't know when that thought came across my head but uh it has costed me dearly let's just say that um yeah basically all these are going to tower up i just need to find a good scaffolding block maybe for now we could just use spruce wood uh like so and ooh, that's supposed to be gone and if we put that right here yeah it shouldn't interrupt anything going on here like so and then it's gonna be a very basic cone you know nothing too fancy going on here um but a lot of silos have cones you know they've got cones at the top so that's what i'm going with and uh yeah this is gonna take a while <laughs> oh my gosh i made an error these glass are too high up is that is that how bad is that <laughs> Because look, now we got some tall guys growing. They're not supposed to be tall. They're supposed to be short, stubby guys. Instead, they're tall. And I'm contemplating in my head whether or not that's worth fixing. I really don't want to replace all this glass. 
But on the other hand, the taller these guys are, when the third one breaks off, because this does grow up to three, when the third breaks off, it has more chance of getting caught on itself, I think? I don't even know for sure. Ooh, that's a tough one. But also, I wasn't even planning on adding the fifth floor anyway. So, I the odds are still better than if I didn't... Oh, there he goes. If I didn't make it in the first place, right? That might just be the lazy way of me thinking I don't want to move all these panes of glass because I'm kind of done with this project and just need to get it finished. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to close it off. All right. This is a finished roof, probably, maybe. I think so. The question is, should I... Would it be better if I just went up? Well, that one doesn't work so well. Just on these, I suppose. Does that look off? That looks off. I like it better before. Uh, but I am going to have to replace this torch. We do need to light it up. I, I, I like my roofs to be lit. You know what I mean? I like my roofs to be lit. Um, don't mind that one right there, which is definitely not lit. Yeah, uh, we're going to do the grand reveal of the project. I would have died, by the way, because <laughs> I have fallen off that several times and have uh, gotten down to like half a heart um, in that time I jumped. Anyways, uh, yeah, I guess you can't really see the roof that much from down here anyway, which is probably why I wasn't paying too much regard to it. But I think it kind of works, um, especially if you're further away. And right here, you know, is where you're going to be entering the town. You can kind of see the tip of it. And that that looks like a silo to me. You know, I uh, it's it doesn't it doesn't arch too much. It doesn't point too much. It's just kind of a cylindrical cutoff, and that's that's what it feels like. Uh, and now we just need to add a secondary part right here where the stable kind of builds out, and that's where the focus of the rest of our episode is going to be. You can give that back, sir. That's not yours. That's not yours. I'm sorry. We don't allow shoplifters here. Okay, in light of the lack of mud bricks I currently have, I figured for the stable portion I could actually keep it relatively simple uh, with a pretty ununique wood texture i think having something like this will work out okay and uh you know falling along the side you can't really enter easily uh from these arches but that's okay you're kind of just meant to enter from the center and as i probably mentioned before this tree farm will probably be removed or or set up to look nicer at some point it's just you never stop needing trees right uh but i think we're a long ways out from actually creating a legitimate tree farm as i have no source of tnt and i still don't know how i feel about tnt duping and by that i mean i literally don't know how i feel about it how do you guys feel about it do you guys do you guys are you guys chill with it do you just like maybe that's the question of the day do you guys feel like are you, <laughs> do you guys feel like it doesn't mess with your moral compass to use tnt duping in machines uh because yeah i don't i don't really know how i feel yet so that's a question to ask you guys maybe you'll you'll uh influence my opinion um yeah, so something like that. And then, of course, we're going to need a roof that probably goes up to connect to that indent right there. I think that would make the most sense um, to just really cap off the uh, the nether wart farm here. All right, this is shaping up pretty nicely. Just filling in some slabs here. And then I think what will uh, color it finished is one line of stripped wood right here, I think. Hopefully that'll look okay. And maybe we just continue it like that. In fact, maybe we should go through the trouble of making one of these, like so. Uh, it's looking a little strange now. Maybe I gotta replace these with stairs. Ooh, sorry, didn't mean to break. Didn't mean to break. Uh, push the brakes. Um, so, spruce, 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 spruce. That's not spruce. That's still not spruce. There we go. Okay. The question is, what looks better? This side or this side? Okay, I don't even need to ask that. This side looks better. Um, eh, maybe not perfect, but you know what? I don't think I... Uh, I think we're at the point of the build where, one, I don't care as much, and two, um, people aren't really going to be looking at the roof of this that much anyway. I don't even have wings. Why don't I have wings? That's something I should probably have, right? If I make it this far, should I just go the whole season without wings? I mean, shoot, I've been getting around without them. It's just kind of sucked. <laughs> maybe I maybe I need to do that next episode. 
um gosh i just don't know if i have an end rate in me that's that's the thing right now it's like i i've even had some people on the server offer to go with me on an end rate but i'm like i just don't know if i've got a raid in me right now I've, i'm so uh in the zone with other stuff i'm doing on here that like i'd rather just buy an elytra i think <laughs> um but i don't think anyone's been selling them I, I i could be wrong i could in fact maybe we'll check we'll check out the shopping district uh later this episode see what's up over there and uh maybe get ourselves some wings um definitely need some torches in here especially with how much zombies love this cactus farm for some reason we can do that one here one here one here one here uh might be also nice to hang some um lanterns down i i understand lanterns oopsies actually hit pause i understand lanterns are kind of all the rage these days but um i'm just not accustomed to them yet uh I, I don't i never have a large supply of them you know i always got to make them by hand and they're kind of annoying to make getting the iron nuggets really just fills up your inventory um but look at that not too shabby i think obviously some stuff around it probably got to go like this is really distracting to this i think and uh, i think i would like to lower the ground so it's not so high up then again over here i technically need the ground to be higher because we got some uh redstone down here that i kind of need space for um so maybe i'll just leave it as for this chest this will probably be changed and, and put somewhere else um the crafting table i can take that with me right now uh but ultimately i think that's uh i think that might be a wrap on the cactus farm and uh warped stem farm warped 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 fungi farm i'm never gonna get that right and i think that's gonna be our thumbnail i decided to get uh maya in the picture because why not let me also fix my fov Woo! That's an interesting uh, little trick I decided to try out today. Trying to get thumbnailed FOV. Interesting. Um, yeah, I figured the best way to close this project off is to uh, actually actually use it, you know? To, to... There we go. I don't want to waste all my bone meal in there. We got some fun guy here. And oh, I should have prepared a spot at the tree farm, but that's okay. Maybe it's actually better we don't because this stuff is a particular kind of, uh, kind of nasty when it comes to growing. Um, oh, I need bone meal to actually grow it too. Here's my stockpile over here. I, I added some more seeds, so we got some in here. Actually, there's more in there than there is in my actual farm. That's kind of embarrassing, but it'll grow. It'll grow over time. Um, if we place down a fungi here, and then we place down a fungi here, I guess it would just be fungus because it's singular, right? Um, hmm. Oh, I completely forgot. I need I need some of these special blocks for this. Okay, there we go. We got them on their proper blocks. We hit the bone meal a couple times. Look at that. And we hit one of these a couple times. And that. This is actually really helpful. I know, like, it's a lot just for uh, fungus, but this stuff is kind of a pain to get in the nether. We also have a very dangerous nether in this world. Um, and then I need these blocks right here, specifically the stripped ones for the puzzle tower. Um, actually, I don't need the, the stripped ones as much. I need the, the actual craftable ones. Uh, but to get that color and then uh, one of the floors is also going to be uh, this color So I'm going to need to stockpile on this too So that's what made it all worth it The stuff that sucks is actually tearing down this But maybe I can enchant up a good hoe And uh, that won't become as much of an issue Finally, to close off the episode Let's go check out the shopping district And um, see what's going on over there And for starters, let's uh, do a little bit of parkour See if I can get this relatively quickly yes okay all right cool and check the current stock of book coin uh 20 diamonds for one book coin that's exactly where we left it um which is good in a way i had a feeling someone might have might have sold but no no we're good we're good we're increasing those those stocks um i think is this the shop that had the elytra uh no oh wait does it still have armor it does Ooh. um it's not it's not the best armor Okay, I'll, I'll wait on that. I'll wait on that. When you can't find an item elsewhere, it's usually most likely inside any Jay's shop. Um, that is not the case for this one. I, that scares me every time. <laughs> they, we still got a giant phantom. I think the giant phantom uh, data pack was removed, but that one giant phantom still remains. I actually don't know. There were, I don't. Did we remove phantoms completely? I'm not sure. I haven't seen them in quite a while. Um, this shop, I don't think, has any elytra right uh bu, 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 bu. yeah it has rockets but no elytra dang this might take some time okay now this thing is new and massive 
It's looking pretty cool. I don't know build styles well enough quite yet to uh, to assume who might be working on this, but for some reason, I feel like this is Nate's build. I feel like it could be Nate's build. All right. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't, but I don't know. I don't know the builders very well. I'm I'm learning. I'm a, I'm still a newborn on this server. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, Nate's got a. Uh, map up. So we we've actually added a map to image plugin on the server. I say we as if I had anything to do with it, <laughs> uh, which is pretty cool. I might make use of it. I don't know. Part of it sounds kind of cool, but also I'm like, maybe I should draw more attention to the builds that I'm working on as opposed to uh, map art. I I am a graphic designer by trade, so it's like I could spend a long time doing that kind of stuff. Um, I could also spend a long time looking for darn elytra. I I thought somebody said they were restocking over there's a lucky island by the way that's currently out of stock but that'd be fun to do for a video sometime um beach balls for concrete that's for wool um that's for bones my last resort is the four seasons hotel alas no in the end season uh they got uh oh wait elytras wait what oh it's sold out though dang wait dragon eggs and heads oh there's i guess some egg duping um, Elytra 10 diamonds, dang, yeah. Okay, that's probably the one that everyone know was knew was sold out, but I just had to check. Ah, uh, this place is cool though. Um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much all of the shops around, and uh, alas, there's just no Elytra, which means maybe we do gotta go to the end and do it ourselves. This is still a pickle shop. Um, anything else I want to show? I don't think so. I think that pretty much covers it. They've got a nice road all the way along the side now, which is awesome. Um, this is just a starter house, I think. Yeah, and that's a, the nether shop. Well, all right, no worries. We'll get an elytra eventually, maybe next episode. But also, maybe next episode, I'll work on the puzzle house some more. You know, there's different options, different things for me to do. But in the meantime, you guys can subscribe so they can check out when the newest episode comes out. And uh, I think I'll see you all then, hopefully. So thank you uh, so long and goodbye.